hi guys so today i'll be showing you how i made this pot of deliciousness the palm nut soup this is actually not banga soup this is ofaku and you can eat it with white rice or fufu so i'm starting with the chicken i used um the old layer chicken it's quite tough so you have to cook it for a long time i just put the onion in there and salt uh sorry i can't give you a measurement <laughs> The salt, I just put enough salt to cook the whole food from start to finish. And also I went in with my cubes, my seasoning cubes, that scented pepper, also known as Cameroon pepper. And then I put um, just ground chili. Usually I'll put like the fresh chili, but I didn't have that, so I just worked with this. I'm just stirring it really good so that everything can combine together and yeah just me still stirring <laughs> so I'm putting some water in there usually sometimes when I cook my chicken I just leave um, the chicken without putting water for it to cook on its own and bring out its own juices but yeah so now i'm going in with stockfish when the chicken is like um half half done and all boiling so i got my stockfish from the african store and it's just like the stockfish flakes all um pieces already so just covering that up for everything to cook together yeah, I did add more chili for extra heat. This is called Oguryo Kwei. It adds flavor. This is crayfish. Crayfish is really important. You can skip the Oguryo Kwei, but crayfish never. And that's why I added three full heaps of tablespoon of crayfish. Okay, now I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just stirring to combine and let everything cook together let all the flavor cook together so this is the main ingredient so this is the palm cream usually um i'll use the palm nuts itself and extract the, the oil from it the juice from it but yeah i can't get that here so this is equally good, really good. Just stirring everything together, mixing it all up nice and good. And yeah, you're gonna get something like this. So you just have to put in water into it. I think I went with more water. Just to give it that nice consistency you don't want it too thick you don't want it too watery as well staring 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 to combine So yeah, just covering it up so that it could boil real good. You want to see something like this. Um, when it starts to boil like this, you know you're getting there, but it's still not there yet. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm adding the main, the main. <laughs> this gives it like the real, real flavor. And that's um, scent leaves. It's called Nchao where I come from and it's dry because I can't get the fresh one here but it's equally good as well it still gives its flavor so yeah this is how I made the delicious goodness that I had in my last video it's really simple guys you should try it out 
list of ingredients will be in the description box thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time